Hello to everyone. If you work with spatial tables in MySQL, there are two tables that you must know what they are. One, it's the st underscore spatial underscore reference underscore system, that you can find it on the information underscore schema columns table. This table stores all the coordinate reference systems, used to locate geographical entities. It's in this table that you can see if the coordinate reference system, that you want to use in your spatial table, it's supported by the MySQL. To see that, it's only searches for what you want. The other table, it's the st underscore geometry underscore columns, and using the definition that we can found in dev.mysql.com, the table provides information about table columns that store spatial data. This table is based on the SQL slash mm, ISO slash IEC 13249-3, standard, with extensions as noted. MySQL implements st underscore geometry underscore columns as a view on the information underscore schema columns table. The st underscore geometry underscore columns is a standard table that you can found in this relational database, to support the correct storage of spatial tables. So, in this video I'm going to explain the basics how this table or view work. When the users are working with spatial tables stored in MySQL 8, from GIS software, there are some of them that don't found any problems to deal with that tables, and there are other users that found lots of problems. Why this happens? I'm going to explain the difference of behavior with two little examples. So, as you can see, I have in my SQL a schema with the name spatial test and in it, I have only two spatial tables, one with the name test underscore M9, and the other with the name test underscore QGIS. They are equal, the difference it's only in the name, you can find the script to create this tables in the description of this video. If I open the st underscore geometry underscore columns in the information underscore schema columns table, as you can see, I have a row for each table which informs the spatial reference system for their spatial columns. Now, I open the manifold release 9, and inside it, I open a project with a connection to the MySQL database. As you can see, here's the test underscore M9 spatial table. I open the drawing of this table and I draw some polygons. As you can verify, everything works fine. I'm going to do the same exercise, but now, using the QGIS.
I open it and after I link it to the MySQL database. Then, I select the test underscore QGIS spatial table and I open it. Now, I draw some polygons and then I save them and As you can see, I obtain an error message. This message has to do with the coordinate reference system and without it, the CRS, I can't add geometries to this table. So, the question that you could put at this moment is this one, if I created the two spatial tables with the same script, and if the two tables have a coordinate reference system registered into the st underscore geometry underscore columns, in the information underscore schema columns table, why I have no problems with one table and I have in the other. The answer is this, what you saw in the demonstration it happens due to the GIS software that the user may be using. Proprietary GI software like the Manifold Release 9, can work with the ST underscore geometry underscore columns, that exists in the information underscore schema columns table, of the MySQL, but open source software like the QGIS, works with a standard table for this type of software, with the name geometry underscore columns. Both tables are remarkably similar and have the same function, that is to inform the spatial reference system for the spatial columns of this type of tables. So, now you can say, I'm using the QGIS for my cartographic work, how can I solve the problem in order to be able to work with spatial tables stored in my SQL database? Let's see how to solve this in the next step. If I want to work with QGIS and the MySQL, I must do one thing that is to habilitate the schema where I store my spatial tables, in order to be able to inform the spatial reference system for the spatial columns of this type of tables. So, to do that, in the MySQL workbench, I return to my schema with the name spatial test, and what I have to do is add the geometry underscore columns table inside my schema. For that, I use the standard script that you can see here and can found it in the description of this video. It's only copy and paste and run the script. You can find this script in literature or sites about, by example, the post GIS. Now, to see the geometry underscore columns table that I create, I click the refresh button in the navigator. After, I open it to see its content. As you can observe, this table have seven columns. Let's see what they are for. The first two columns are the table underscore catalog and the table underscore schema. They usually are filled with the null reference. Next, we have the table underscore name. This one stores the name of the spatial table. The fourth, with the name geometry underscore columns, stores the name of the column that stores spatial data. The fifth, with the name Coord underscore dimension, 
refers if the spatial geometries are with two or three dimensions. The sixth, the SRID, stores the spatial reference system identifier of the table. And the last column, the type, refers the type of geometries that are stored in the geometry column. They usually could be polygons, lines, or points. The rows of the geometry underscore columns table, refers to the spatial tables stored in the schema. So, the number of rows varies on the number of spatial tables I may have stored in my schema. As a note, when I use the load spatial data to import a shape file, tool that I can find when I click on the right button of the mouse, over the name of my schema, if the geometry underscore columns table doesn't exist, this tool generates one automatically inside my schema. At this moment, you may ask, OK, I have created the geometry underscore columns table inside my schema, so, can I already work with my spatial tables without problems in QGIS? The answer is, yes, if you first populate the table with the correct information for each spatial table, informing to the QGIS, which are the coordinate reference systems of the column spatial data. Let's see how to do this in the next step. Now, that my schema has the geometry underscore columns, Let's see what I must to do for the QGIS can read and write the test underscore QGIS table, without problems. For that, I must populate the geometry underscore columns, with the information that says who is who. What do I mean with this? Well, I must create a row that informs to the QGIS, the name of the spatial table, the name of the column spatial data, which is the coordinate reference system, and so on. So, the script to populate the geometry underscore columns table, will looks like with this that I'm here writing, as a note, you can find this script in the description of this video. As an important note, in the SRID column, I can insert the coordinate reference system that I want as long as it is supported by the MySQL. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the EPSG 3857, regarding to the WGS84 slash pseudo mercator, however, I can assign to this spatial table the coordinate reference system, referring to my country. To finish the operation, just run the script and refresh the table, and here's the new row that I just recorded.
Now, the test underscore QGIS table has a valid coordinate reference system. Let confirm that in the next step. To test the spatial table, I open the QGIS, and then I click the Add Vector Layer button. On the window that opens, I click the Option Database and after, the Add button. In the list that appears in Select Vectors Layers to Add window, I'm going to select the Test underscore QGIS table, and I click OK to open it. Now, I may close the vector layers window. So, let's see if everything is OK. For that, I click on Toggle Editing and next I click on Add Polygon feature to add a polygon to this spatial table. Now, I draw one object. After, I'm going to save it. And, as you can see, I've got a complete success. Now, the QGIS can read and write this spatial table.